We're doing a pineapple lesson. We're doing a pineapple lesson. Come on, pineapple lesson. Pineapple lesson. We're doing a pineapple lesson. Woo! Pineapple lesson. It's fun, fun, fun. Phonics is fun. Are you ready? Wow. Are you ready? Okay, eyes on the teacher, eyes on the screen, and let's get going. We're in for a beautiful lesson today. A sweet lesson, sweet treat. So let's go. What is the name of this object? Let me hear you. What is the name of this object? Oh, of course, this is a pineapple. You are correct. Wonderful. Do you love pineapples? Do you eat it? Have you ever seen a pineapple before? Oh, this is a pineapple. Actually, the picture of a real pineapple. All right, this is a pineapple. So, you know what? This word, all of these letters, they make up the name of the object. Pineapple, yes, pineapple. And these are all capital letters or what we call uppercase letters. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. So let's look at the word in common letters or lowercase letters. Pineapple, the first one. And the second one is saying pineapple. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Let me hear you say the word again. Good job. Pineapple. Again. That's correct. Pineapple. Now we're going to be naming the letters so that we will be better able to spell the word pineapple. So let us be sure that we know all the letters in the word. Let's go. We have P, capital P in red, common P, black, yes, capital P, common P. O, capital I in purple, common I in pink. Go ahead. Now we have capital N in white and common N in black. Name those letters for me again. Capital N, that's the white one, and common N in black. O, E, capital E in orange, and the common E in brown. E, the vowels, yeah. Now the vowel again, capital A in yellow, and a common A in green. Capital L in blue, common L in black. Have you seen your favorite letter as yet? Or your favorite color? Okay. So we went through our letters. And guess what? If there was a letter that you weren't so sure of, go back and look at the letter and learn the name of the letter as well as the color that it is in. Now, keep your eyes on the screen. What word is this? Oh, that's amazing. This is the word pineapple, all written in green. Pineapple. Oh, this is amazing. Look at the word. Let us figure out how many letters are in the word pineapple? Let us count. Touch and count the letters in the word. And let's see how many letters are in the word pineapple. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course, there are nine letters in the word pineapple. Oh, you were so awesome counting up those letters just now. You didn't miss a beat. That is amazing. So let's go on. What number is this? Are you ready? 
eyes on the screen. What is that number? Oh, for sure. This number is nine. Did you know that numbers have names too? Yes, just the very way that your name is spelled with letters, numbers, they have a name, a word name too. So let's see what this nine, what its name looks like. Let's go. Oh my gosh, yes. N-I-N-E, nine. Nine. And if you have already learned about the two vowels in a word, that rule, then you'll know there are two vowels in this word. The first one says its name, and the second one is silent. That means it does not speak. So I is the first letter, right? The first vowel. So it's going to say its name. I. So an I says nai. And then we're going to read the N. Nine. And the E does not speak. It is silent. So by the end of this letter, by the end of the lesson rather, you should be able to spell and recognize number nine and its name. Okay? Good job. Now I've got something else for you. How many syllables are in the word pineapple? Say the word again. Pineapple. Pineapple. Snap it, clap it, tap it, whatever you're going to do. Let's find out how many syllables are in the word pineapple. Let's go. Pineapple. How many syllables? There are three syllables in the word pineapple. Mm. We're just not done with pineapple. How many words are in this word? Look carefully at the word pineapple. How many words do you see in the word pineapple? Uh-huh. You see two words? That's fantastic. Look again. How many? Yes. We see the word pine and we see the word apple. So this word is made up of two words. Oh, wow. You know what? There is a special name given to words that are made up of more than one word, right? Two words or even three. We call these words compound words. Compound word. What is a compound word? A compound word is a word that is formed by putting two or more words together to make a word. And guess what is unique about compound words? The, the words in the compound word, each word in that word, you use the meaning of the each small word to get the meaning of the compound word. That makes it so cool. I really love that about compound words. So sometimes we really do not have to use a dictionary to find the meaning of a compound word. Let us explore some compound words and see if we can you know, come up with the meanings of these words. So let's go. Football. Read that again for me. Football. Remember that O O O? Football. So there are two words in football. So football is a compound word. Can you tell me the two words in football? You are correct foot and ball. Now, let us go now to try and tell the meaning of the word football. Now, what is a foot? We could say a foot is a limb on the body, right? A limb on the body and a ball is a round object, most likely a round object or a, an object that we play with, right? That we kick or what else would you want to say about it? All right. So what's a football? It is a round object that we use the limb on our body, a limb on our body to kick. We use our foot to kick, right? That's a football. It's played with the foot, with the limb on the body. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we have any more compound words. Oh my goodness. We have play field. Play field. What are the compound 
No, not the compound words. What are the small words in the compound word play field? Uh -huh. Thumbs up, play and field. Now, what is the meaning of the word play? What would you say? Go ahead. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. All right. So, play is to run up and down in its simplest form. Huh? And field is an open area. So, play field is a place where an open area where you run up and down. Kick the ball, play with the football, or any other ball or um, object for that matter. Play field. Postman. What are the small words in postman? Let me hear them. The first one is correct. Post. And the second one is man. Postman. Now, I want you to come up with the meaning of the word postman. Postman. Okay, postman. You know what? I'm realizing that so many children may not be so familiar with a postman in this era. So postman, post, that, that um, has to do with letters, you know? Um, in some countries, you may use mailman more. So we know a mail is a letter, the post, a letter, and the man is a human, a male human, right? So the postman is the man or person that carries the mail or the letter or the post. Good job. Backache. Ouch. Backache. That hurts. What are the small words in backache? Yes, back and ache. Woo! So back, where is your back? Let's touch our backs. Yes, back and ache means pain. So that is pain in the back, backache. I really pray that you will not have back aches, right? You will never suffer from back ache. Oh my gosh, it's not nice at all. And our very last compound word is book bag. Book bag. What's a book? What's a bag? You come up with the meaning now. I won't tell you this one at all. Let me hear what you are going to say. Book? What is a book? What is a bag? Let's put them together. Very good. Very, very good. So now we have book bag bag book bag so i want us to look at this picture here we are still remember still remember that we're talking about pineapple so here we have what looks like a tree a tree what kind of tree do you think this is let's see if we can get a little warmer oh what is that yes this is this brown thing here it is a pine, right? A pine cone, a pine. And it, it, um, the, the, the tree beside it, that's the pine tree, right? So that's the pine tree. So I want us to look carefully at what we're seeing here. So we're talking about pineapple. We're trying to figure out how much the word pineapple qualifies or if it doesn't for a compound word based on the definition that, and the examples that we have been working on. So pine, what is a pine? This is a pine. The next word is apple. Let's see what an apple looks like. That's an apple. Or if you're a Jamaican, you know our apple, right? And that's an apple tree. Now the word we're working with is pineapple. Pineapple. So, mm, is a pineapple. The pineapple that we know to be pineapple. Is it a pine? Clearly not, based on what we've seen. Is it an apple? Clearly not. 
based on what we have seen and what we know. So what is a pineapple? We know that it is a fruit, of course, but what really is a pineapple? We're trying to use the small words to find the meaning of this name, this compound word. So it is a weird compound word, right? Oh yes, it doesn't fit the rules at all. So a pineapple, it's neither pine, neither is it an apple. A pineapple, let me tell you the secret, is a berry. It is a berry. It's a pineapple is a berry. Can you imagine that? So this is what a pineapple looks like. So you remember that elaborate tree that we saw for the pine and the elaborate one we saw for the apple? Look at the pineapple. Look at how it is grown. Look where it is grown. Mm -hmm. Yes, the pineapple is, uh, is, plant, it come, is planted in the ground. Yes, we don't stretch up to pick the pineapple. We have to bend down to get the pineapple. Oh, yes. Yes. I love this pineapple. Do you? So pineapples, as I said before, are planted in the ground. And look, look in her hand. She's holding up a sucker. A sucker. So we plant pineapples by using suckers, right? Suckers are literally like a number of leaves. Yes. So pineapple literally go from their leaves yes the pineapples go from their leaves all right so soccer this is the word soccer let's call the word again soccer soccer so we have a number of special sounds there let's look at them we have ck and ck says k, k. so when you see ck together in a word one sound k. and then we have er and er says Er. So here we have soccer, 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 soccer. And we can tell how many syllables are in this word as well. So there you have it. That's a pineapple, soccer, soccer. We plant the soccer in the ground. We have to dig the ground, make a hole, put the soccer in and, you know, not cover the soccer, but get the dirt back around the sucker to hold it in the ground. Amazing. You could plant a pineapple too. So look here. Wow. We have a lot of pineapple suckers on the ground. Wow. This can plant so many pineapples. We can't even count these. Oh my goodness. Can you estimate, can you guess a number that could tell how many suckers are right there in this heap? Wow. And if you look way back beyond the suckers, you will see many pineapples in the ground that have already been planted and they are springing up. Oh, yes. Pineapple suckers. So more than one sucker, we call it suckers, plural. Ah, it's time to read. Are you ready? Let's go. Pineapples are fruits. Read that by yourself. Pineapples are fruits. That's true. The next sentence. I will allow you to attempt reading it all by yourself. And then I will join in on the second attempt. Go ahead. Fabulous. Let's go together. Pineapples are planted in the ground. One more time. Pineapples are planted in the ground. Remember to pronounce the end of your words. Unless, of course, they're silent. We're going to pronounce them. Okay? One more. You go ahead. I like it when you read first. Go ahead. Pineapples can be used to make juices. Pineapples can be used to make juices. Amazing. Amazing. And you could help mom or dad in the kitchen to make pineapple juice. Yes. Now you have homework. Homework. 
how many words can you make from the word pineapple? So you can make your words, you can put them in the comment, yes, of the um after watching the video, or you could go to the Nehemiah Reading Program Facebook group and you could type in your answers there. And if you so happen to be in my class, take it to me and I will mark it, right? How many words can you make from the word pineapple? That's homework number one. Number two, write down 20 compound words and be able to tell their meanings. Remember what we did? Each small word, the meaning of each small word will help us to get the meaning of the compound word. You will be 20 compound words smarter. Take on this task with much excitement and understand that you are growing. We are rebuilding the walls of literacy. You are getting better moment by moment, video by video. That is amazing. So I have a little fun fact for you. Did you know that Christopher Columbus came to the Caribbean and found pineapples and took it back to Spain? Oh, yes, that Christopher Columbus, huh? You must have heard about him. Fact two, pineapple ripens faster when turned upside down. So the next time you have pineapple, turn them upside down and you'll get to eat them faster because they ripe faster when turned upside down. Ooh, I'd say two, but I'll give you one more. Did you know that a pineapple plant can live up to 50 years? Oh yes, with little care or attention. From us, God is amazing. That's all, we can just conclude that God is just wonderful. Say that with me. God is wonderful. Sure he is. So look here. Look at these pineapples. Can you see the rose? Can you see the pineapple there on the plant? Wow, beautiful pineapple field. You can plant your own pineapple too, you know, and have your pineapple where you can share with your neighbors or with your friends. Thank you so very much.